beautiful day so I'm so sorry I've not been posting very much lately um, life just got a little bit crazy with kids out of school and um, my husband got sick and then I got sick and it, it was just really crazy so I do apologize but I'm now getting back on schedule and back on track and trying to catch up on the videos so this one is the BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of August um, I did receive this like two weeks ago <laughs> um, but I just haven't been able to sit down and record so I do, I have used um, the products in this box so I'm gonna just kind of give a review of them in this video instead of making a whole different one just so I can catch up so again BoxyCharm for the month of August um, BoxyCharm is $21 a month and you get five full-size beauty pro the beauty products there we go um, they also have Boxy Lux every three months, and that is $21 plus an additional $29.99 um, every three months for that. So, and that's coming out September? Yeah, September. So, it comes in this little box of BoxyCharm. You open this up, and it's packaged just like that. You always get a card with the theme as well as your variation number and the products in your box and the uh, prices so this theme for this month is a totally boxy charm and then this is a variation two so the first thing that I will pull out is going to be this is the Tarte Big Ego mascara um, I have received mascara from Tarte before and I was not a big fan of it um, so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect but I actually do like this stuff um, this is the packaging and it's like a metal package um, or a metal tube sorry <sighs> stumble on my words like usual um, and it's very hot pink so I don't think you can lose it um, and this retails for where are you $23 so that's not too bad actually um, for mascara that's about average I think for it um, so this is what the wand looks like and it's not a very it's not a really dry formula but it's not a really wet formula either um, and it definitely does give length to my lashes it doesn't give a whole lot of volume but it does um, give a lot of length to them so I actually do really like this the next thing is this is from Wonder Beauty this is the Wonder Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil um, I have used this and I actually do like it um, and it's not like a super it, it doesn't leave like a really bad oil feeling on your skin um, that's what it looks like it's pink but once you um, kind of massage it in the color goes away it doesn't have too much of a it well no it has a scent but it um, kind of it goes away after just a couple minutes but it leaves it left it like just really soft and I really actually liked it um, the price however this little guy here is a $42. Um, you don't need very much of it at all. A little bit goes a really long way. Um, it seemed to um, uh, blend into my skin really easily. I didn't really see a whole lot of issues with um, my make, like having it underneath my makeup or anything like that. So. Um, I do like it. Would I spend $42 on it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep using it and then maybe mine. I, yeah. I I don't know. $42 is a lot of money for a tube of face oil. So I, I, I don't know. I will have to think on that one. The next thing is this is for Steve Lur, blah, blah, blah. Steve Laurent's lip liner. And this is in the shade Vogue, I believe. 
yes, in the shade Vogue. Um, I have used this a few times, as you can tell. It works. It's not my favorite. It's, I love the color. So I do really love the color of it. Um, but it's, it doesn't glide on quite as easily as a lot of other lip liners do. Um, and it does kind of ball up a little bit. Um, so it'll work. It's not my favorite. And this is um, $15. No, 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 no. I would not spend $15 on, on this. I know. I would not. Um, like I said, I like the color, but I really don't care for the formula or anything else, really. Um, so, the next thing that we have is, this is from Ace Beauty, and it's a Glimmer Shadow Duo. I got mine in the shades... Iced Latte and Cotton, cotton Candy. Um, there were very uh, four different colors that you could get. I was hoping to get the silver and the purple, um, but that's okay. So this is what they look like. Just like that. Um, they are very, very soft. They're very, they are pretty colors. They are definitely, um, glittery. Hopefully you can see that. Um, they seem to work pretty well. Um, they blended pretty easily. They, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't say it lasts all day. Um, because I did notice. Um, after several hours, um, it really was starting to fade a little bit. So I'm not sure I would say it lasts all day. Um, this, this is $25 for these two right here. So about $10 a piece. Um, I think the formula is an okay formula. The colors are beautiful. Um, they blend easily. I do think for $25, the packaging could be a little bit better. Um, it just kind of got a little plastic um, packaging. Uh, I do think it could be a little bit better for $25. So um, I probably would not spend $25 on two pots of shadows just because I can get a whole eyeshadow palette for that price. So um, I don't think I would do that. But I'm glad to have them, and if I don't use them, I'm sure my daughter will. The last thing, this is from Becca, and this is the Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. I love this stuff. This is amazing. Um, mine came in, I don't know what shade mine came in. Maybe there is no shade name. Okay, because it's this is the Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. This is the packaging, so it's got the typical Becca um, lid on it. And then this is what it looks inside. Um, I do kind of, I do actually like the way that they did the packaging on this, because um, you've got this little thing here that lifts up, and then your product is right underneath there. But this is like a net. It's not like just plastic laid down there with holes punched in it. Um, it's actually like a, a net and I do actually really like that. Um, and then I don't know how they did it, but like when I first used this, I thought my brush was wet. I thought maybe I grabbed the wrong brush or something. I thought it was wet. It wasn't. Um, and it doesn't feel wet in the container you can clearly see that that is most definitely powder in there um it just feels wet when you put it on and it actually does feel very 
refreshing. Um, it sets my makeup really well. It doesn't go anywhere. It blends easily. It doesn't soak into little um, wrinkles and all, all of that stuff. So I do really, really like this. This retails for $39. Um, which Becca is an expensive line, but their products are really good. So I would probably spend $39 on this. I probably would. Um, I just really like it. So that is everything that we got. So again, Steve Laurent's lip liner that I would absolutely not spend $15 on. Um, Tarte Big Ego Mascara works pretty well. I do like it. I love the packaging. Um, the Wonder Beauty Illuminating Glow Oil, um, I do really like that. Still not sure I'd spend $42 on it, but I do actually really like that. And then we've got the um, Shadow Duo for $25, and that I don't think I probably would. And then the Becca, which I absolutely would. So, not bad. Um, definitely... It's not my favorite box, but I do definitely like it a lot better than last month's box. So that is everything that I have for you. Thank you so very much for watching and uh, let me know what you got in your box um, and how you like those products. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.